Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you've all got um, one of these by now. Uh, if you haven't, it's going to make things a bit tricky. So um, get in touch with the school and we will get one to you somehow. Uh, by fair means or by foul. No, just by fair. I don't think we're going to be foul about it. I think that would be a bit mean. Um, so the way this book is pitched is um, one of these a week. One of these a week. They think that it takes about 10 minutes. I'll, we've, we've not worked with this book before, so I don't know if that is the case or not. Um, but of course, uh, we're going to be going at an accelerated pace. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be doing uh, this one today. This one today. That's workout number one. And also we're going to be doing this one today and that is workout number two so there you go um let's have a look at uh the first page so the uh question uh, the warm-up the warm-up uh circle the correct spelling of each word in bold and uh, number two uh, write the correct spelling of the word in bold on the same line there you go i want to buy a drink um uh, add S uh, or ES to the words below to make them plural. So which one is which? Uh, if in doubt about these, I'd say uh, get a bit of scrap paper and try uh, each one, the, either the S or the ES, and just see if it looks right or not. Hopefully some of you will just be able to sort of tell. Uh, you may remember the rule from uh, the other book. You go back and look in your other workbook to see. Uh, but hopefully it will just look right to you. Uh, okay, number four, add in full stops to the text below. There we go. Uh, number five, uh, circle the three nouns in the text below. A noun, what is a noun? Noun is a naming word. A proper noun is a person's name. Um, hopefully that will help. Now, right, so read the passage, uh, that one there, and then answer the questions. Um, uh, the first question is, what? Uh, what is Robbie's job? And the one underneath uh, that is right, true or false for each sentence. Uh, Robbie's climbing. Well, well, you can do that. Um, and then down the bottom, circle uh, one word which could replace the word rumble. So if, if in doubt, if in doubt about that one, I would go back to the, the text that bit. Um, read the sentence with rumble in it and say each of those words out loud. And then if, uh, if it feel if, it, if the sentence still makes sense, that's the word. Cool. Okay. Number two. Number two. And also, let us know. By the way, we we would just we would talk about this, um, and we thought two a day would be the right amount. The right amount. If it turns out that two a day is the wrong amount, let us know uh, through Class Dojo um, or email the office, and we will change it. It may be that actually it's too many, um, or uh, you think actually it's not enough. Uh, we won't probably do all that much about it this week because, fingers crossed, I've got all the videos filmed this week and we've already sort of laid it out. But uh, it could be something we can think about for the next term. So, without further ado, um, work out two. So, a warm-up. Circle the verbs in the sentence below. What's a verb? A doing words. Think about doing words. Uh, then, number two. Circle the letters you can add to the word... Uh, uh, the word tie to make it mean... The opposite. Okay, so that's about prefixes. Um, you know, the, the, the end, uh, beginning words, suffix at the end, prefix at the beginning. Um, number three, circle the correct spelling of the words in bold. Okay, hopefully they'll just look. They'll, yeah, yeah. Um, four, add the suffixes uh, and s to each of the adjectives. Uh, and s, there we go. Um, the words are grand, long, and hard. Uh, up here, number five, circle the three letters that should be, sorry, yeah, circle the three letters that should be capital letters. Um, so, should I, clues, do you want clues? Think about proper nouns. Uh, and six, uh, bit here, rewrite the passage without the four errors. There are four errors. Um, and I want you to think about, you find them, circle them or whatever you need to do, and then write, down, write it out underneath in your best writing, obviously, uh, without those four mistakes. There you go. Hopefully this new book will be um, will be helpful for you. And it will sort of tide us over till we can get you all back into school, which we hope will be fairly soon. Um, not soon enough, obviously. And we don't know for sure. Um, and by the time you're seeing this, we, we probably won't know either. Um, but obviously we want you back in um, and hopefully this will help keep things going till 
that can happen. Right, pause in a mo, and then, uh, I'm not pause, we'll just run out. Then you can come back with our answers. <laughs>